Hello and welcome to more Banjo-Kazooie Grunty's Revenge. Last time we unlocked and did the Bad Magic Bayou, but we also unlocked another stage. So today we're not going to be going back to the uh, temple to unlock another stage. Now we could go back to Honeybee's Hive to upgrade our health because now we've got up to eight of the hollow honeycombs. So we could get a health upgrade. I think we'll be fine without it, although I do need to heal a little bit. Took some damage on the way out of the stage. Let's wait for that to go on the end. There we go. And now today we're going to go up this way. Now up here is a lot of stuff to collect. I'm only going to grab a little bit of it right now. We'll go ahead and grab that guy. Let's watch out for that grunt weed. I think there's another note. No, I thought there was one up there. Apparently not. Oh, gosh dang it, grunt weed. I knew he'd get in the way. I could grab some health there, but I'm super lazy. Now over here we've got a little mini game to play with this dolphin guy. So we'll go ahead and do that. So we have to feed 10 of his favorite things or whatever to him there. And this one is pretty simple, but it's mostly a game of reaction time so we'll see how we do here so we just have to shoot the egg at him we gotta be quick you see if you take too long he'll dip down like that so we'll just have to aim at him take a shot and that's pretty much all there is to it just do that over and over as long as you're quick it is very easy it's not not all complicated like the fishing game or anything don't have to worry about charging up certain amounts of power don't really have to worry about uh, crabs damaging you or anything like that all you gotta do is point at the guy and give him a shot and there you go. So after we do all that, a very easy jiggy right there. So there's another one of the Spiral Mountain Jiggies taken care of. Now right over here we've got another stage, but this one's going to still be locked. As you can see, kind of an icy area right there. We'll get to that one a little bit later. I do want to explore this hub world a little bit more. Try to get some of these notes around the world, or around the water. Now right here there's a little pad. We can't actually use that right now. So maybe someday we'll get that ability so we can save that poor little Jinjo up there. But not quite right now. Now here is the stage we want to go to, but I want to explore a little bit more out here. Now we could go up here and get a Jiggy over there, but there's a lot of enemies in the way. And they are very scary and they'll probably knock you into the lava and instantly kill you. So we're not going to do that. Instead we'll wait until we can get this ability right here. And that one will well, basically help us out a lot. Let's just put it that way. So let's go down here and get some notes down here as well. Once again, there's another one of those pads that are broken. So we can't use that, but we can still grab some notes. That's what we're going to do. Now, right down here, this is where we went before. So we'll worry about that later. Let's just go back up here. Uh, grab that note there. Let's go ahead and jump up and grab all these as well. Now, the reason I'm grabbing all these notes is just so I don't forget later. But we do have to come back here later, so I probably would have... It probably would have been more efficient to get them later on. But whatever, man. I'll, I'll just get them now. There's not a whole a whole lot of reason to. Although there is one ability in the next stage that's pretty expensive. So getting these notes is not a bad idea or anything like that. But we're up to 85 notes in Spiral Mountain. What do you say we go and actually do the stage? Let's just fly right on up here and go inside Spiller's Harbor. Now this stage is pretty complicated. It's going to send us all over the place. Also, we just picked up a new uh, egg type right there. There's also a five note back there, so we'll grab that guy. And we'll shake this guy off. Just channel our, channel our inner Taylor Swift here. Let's go down. Got more guys to shake him off. There we go. Now here... I'm going to use a little bill drill, and let's go down, grab ourselves our first Jinjo. This one's going to be a gray Jinjo, so that's kind of the color for the stage. We'll grab that guy, and as you can see, just like uh, Bad Magic Bayou, lots of toxic water, but also we got some oil spills, and the oil spill, if you go into the, that water, that actually does two points of damage to you, so you got to be very careful about that. So down here we've got Bilge Haven. The reason I want to go down here is because, well... Another one of these red pads, but we've got Bazai, and he will finally give us the ability to actually uh, use those pads. So because we've got over 310 notes, we are good to go. So let's go ahead and get our ability here. We just stand on that red pad, press A, and we get the Wonder Wing. We've had this in previous Banjo games. It just uses those gold feathers that we've been collecting, and it will give us invincibility. There's one thing to keep in mind, though, is that... The invincibility will not save us from the poison water, so I don't want to uh, jump in the water there. Actually, that ability is pretty useless in this area, but I do want to go up here and grab this silver coin. It's pretty much all we can do here for now, so I want to come back as the rat eventually to go inside that castle, but we'll have to look for a mumbo house first. So now that we've got that invincibility uh, maneuver, let's go ahead and get out of this place and go check out the rest of the stage here. So right up here, this is going to be what leads to uh, the Mumbo House. Ah, gosh dang it, get off me you crud. This is the Mumbo House here, so we could go to a rat. I'll do that in just a little bit. But also we've got an ability here, but this one requires 410 notes. That is more than we have right now. 
that is a, a slight problem. Just just a tiny one, just the tiniest of little problems there. So for now, we're gonna go over here, grab this uh, five note. And now I wanna try to kill all these birds here, because these guys are kind of bugging Mr. Drippy the Ice Cream Man, dude. And if we kill those birds, we can go talk to Mr. Drippy, and uh, he'll give us something very special. This is Alfred Peacock. I guess he's not exactly Mr. Drippy. But uh, yeah, after we do all that, we get a Mr. Drippy cone. And we'll, we'll have to just wait and see what a uh, random ice cream cone is going to be good for. But it's good to have. We need that crud. Now the oil here, we can walk on this, but it's just really slippery. So it doesn't damage you or anything, but it can make it pretty annoying if you're sliding all over the place while trying to fight those birds. Now down here... There's actually a spot right there we could shoot, and there's also more of these dang green pads that don't work. So what do you say we finally get the ability to actually use those green pads? Now first off, let me get that guy off me. Uh, we could also jump on top of this building, but I'll just tell you guys, we once again need the green pad thing for that. So to actually use the green pad, let's go over here to this part of the stage, Spillerston. Now right here is a spot where we could actually use the rat once again to go inside there, so we'll do that in a minute. But for now, let's explore this part of the map just a little bit. Let's go ahead and kill that guy, knock this guy out as well, and grab some notes here. Now, this part of the map is actually really big, so I'll be walking around just a bit. Now, here's someone we have to save her kids or something, so we'll do that. But uh, for now, we're just going to look around here. We'll go kill off this enemy, and... Oh, gosh dang it, Grunt Wade! We'll kill that guy, grab ourselves the second of those silver coins. We do have to get five of those, and uh, let's just get back out. Let's go grab these notes. Now, the reason I want to grab these notes now uh, is just because later on, we're going to have to do some challenges that require a timer. So it makes more sense to grab them now, even though we're going to come back to these areas. Because now we don't have a timer. We don't have to worry about uh, rushing or anything. So now that we've actually got those, now we can go over this, this way and we can go start this timer here. Actually, there's one thing I got to point out. Down here is a Jinjo statue, and he hides basically the most hidden notes in the entire uh, level. Right behind him are five notes. Kind of evil. I don't know why they're there, but they are. So let's go ahead and kill these guys. And now we're going to jump up here and grab this thing. Now that we've got that, we're going to go down into the left and talk to this little dude here. This is actually one of the kids of that bigger poop that we saw earlier. So he's a little Mr. Poopy here. And we have to save him. But we also have to save one other poop. And we'll do that a bit later. So we can't get any reward from the mom right now. But we'll give this guy his hat or whatever that thing was. Or spaceship. I don't know what that thing is. A UFO. And he'll go back to his mom there. Hooray, we saved the kid poop thing. Let's just move on. And right over here, we've got another one of those green pads. But thankfully, we can finally learn the ability that'll let us use that. Right over here, costs 370 notes, but we've got way more than enough. Also, we're up to 410 notes, so we could get the uh, other Bazai as well. There's only three Bazais in this stage. But yeah, this one will activate those green pads. And we don't have to use any gold feathers. There's no consumables for this one. Just like in the original Ban uh, Banjo-Kazooie, it's a shock spring. So basically, it just gives us a super high jump. Even higher than the flip-flap. So we can get up to some pretty high places. Let's see. Let me just make sure I didn't miss anything down here. It looks like we are good. So let's go up here and get this party started. So the first thing I want to do is actually go to the right. Because we can actually get inside. Well, actually, let's go up here. And let's go into our talent trot and jump across. Because we can actually go inside the chimney here. So we'll go right on down, and up there's some gold feathers, but we don't really need those. Instead, we'll just go over to the left. And this is one reason I wanted to get the uh, the golden feather ability before we came here, is I kind of need to use that to kill all of these TNTs to get ourselves a gosh dang jiggy! Yeah! So we'll go ahead and grab that guy, and we'll get this last note right here. It's actually our first jiggy for the stage. Yeah, this is a stage where there's going to be lots of back and forth. Eventually, things will all come together, and we'll get lots of jiggies really quickly. But for now, it's a little bit slow. So we'll go up here. We can jump across, and over here, there's a couple more notes, but not much else for now. But what we want to do is hit this switch, and that will activate a pad way back here in front of this little gazebo thing. And we just have to run there, because this is where the timer starts. We have to go through this sequence of, like, multiple different timers, and it's actually... Pretty tough, but we want to go over here and grab this. We can grab some extra gold feathers if we need them. So now we're invincible. So now that that pad is activated, we want to go over here. And this will let us deal with all these dang bees. Get them out of the way. Just like that. We can also grab the third of these silver coins right there. And now we can go up and hit this green switch. So now that activates the green switch here, which is again on the same spot. 
and that will let us jump up top uh, on top of the gazebo and get the uh, get that jiggy switch so we can actually work towards that jiggy. Ah, get away from me, you crud! Just jump up, and there we go. So now once we hit this, we have one more timer, and the jiggy will spawn back on top of that building. And this is actually a pretty tight timer, so let's hope I don't completely fail this. Oh, gosh dang it, enemy, that might have ruined my chances. I'm gonna try my best, though. Let's just get over there. Dodge that guy. Dodge that guy. Okay. Go, 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 go. Get up there. Oh, boy. Get up. Come on. Two. One. Darn it, dude. That gosh dang enemy I dropped right onto him kind of ruined my chances. Let me try that again. Gotta go through the whole dang sequence. Okay, attempt number two. Go, 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 go. Okay, this time we did not land right on top of an enemy. I want to go up so we can dodge that pink guy really easily. There we go. Just jump up there. Do a flip flap. Run across. We should have plenty of time this time. And there we go, we actually got our second Jiggy! Now the next thing I want to do here is actually go back to Mumbo's place and turn into a rat so we can come back and get all this stuff right here. And also, there was a sandcastle back on the other side of the map. We can go inside that with the rat as well, so... Yeah, lots of stuff to do as the rat in this stage. Let's go get to it! So the Mumbo's place is right up here. I'll just go into the rat form and meet you guys back in the last area. I'm a rat! Okay, so we're back in Spillerston. We just go right on through here. And there's not much to find here, just a couple of a couple of notes. One hollow honeycomb. And right over here, we've got ourselves our second Jinjo. So now I'll go back all the way to the left side of the map. And we'll go inside that sandcastle as the rat here. Bilge Haven. Oh boy. So we'll go inside just like that. And here we're inside Castoff's Castle. Lots of random garbage inside here. But this part of the of the map basically has two sections. First we have to go around on the bottom here. And we have to hit all these switches. And doing this will build a bunch of bridges for us to go along on the top side. I think there's four switches basically in the different corners of the map. So we're just going to go around and do that, but we also have to collect a lot of notes along the bottom as we do that. And just kill all these enemies off. Let's see, is there anything up this way? Uh, just some golden feathers. Kinda needed those, so I, I guess that's good to have. Just making sure I don't miss any notes here. I think there's a five. Right, right there, there's a five. Because the gold feathers and the notes are yellow, and the sand on the bottom is also yellow, they kind of blend in. It's kind of an eyesore, but... As long as we're very careful at looking, we, we'll, we'll spot that crud. We'll spot it more than a cheetah or something. I don't know, man. Let's go around, and let's see. We've got two switches done. Just trying to make sure I don't miss any of these notes here. I think we're good so far. Now, I'm sure I'll spot them once I'm going along the top. I'll spot them, and I can just jump off and get them real quick. So, not that big of a deal if I miss them right away. But, eventually, I do want to make sure I get everything. So, there's the jiggy, but let's go hit this switch here. And there's just a one more switch at the bottom right, so we'll go get that. Spilling ourselves some tiny little Lego bridges, why not? Oh, we can still go into the bridges though, so that's good. I kind of just want to kill this guy, yes! Kill this guy, yes! Now, right down here is the final switch. We'll go ahead and hit that one. Now, to actually get up top, there's this milk carton right here. And if we go up that, it kind of works as a ramp, so we can just walk up that milk carton. And there we go. So first we want to get the Jinjo, which I think is over this way. There you are, okay. So yeah, we want to get that Jinjo. We can walk across those green sections. Did I see any notes down here? I think we're good. I don't think we've missed any notes. Just definitely double checking. It's so hard to see sometimes. And that was just gold feathers, right? Okay, so we'll go along here. That is a dead end. Let's go back then. And let's go to the right here. And there's one note right there. Okay, so I gotta make sure I get that one. Let me get the Jiggy first though. The Jiggy should be... Not that way, I think it's around the bottom right here. Let's swoop around, and there's the Jiggy! So let's go back for that one note, I think that's the only one that I missed here. So as long as we get that, we should be safe to leave this place. Okay, we'll drop down and get that, and then just go back out the entrance! Wait, 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 whoa, 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 there's another one! Okay, okay, I think we're safe. Well, if I'm missing any notes at the end of the stage, I'll know where to look, somewhere in here. But let me go back and return to Banjo's bear form. Alright, and while we're here, let's go ahead and get this final move. So we're back to Banjo. Well, as you might have guessed, we're going to get a new type of egg right here. So this one's going to be the ice eggs. Oh yeah, they're super ice. Super ice, dude. So yeah, we, we can just swap just like we did before with the battery eggs. We can swap over to those and we can use those as well. And we pick up the ice eggs on the map to restore our ammo. So now that we've got this one, we can actually go and fight the boss. So let's almost go do that. I want to go back to the top right first because there's... I should probably be, be talent trotting. There's one more thing we can do up this way. There we go. We can jump across, grab a couple notes, and we can actually drop inside here. 
Now, the reason I didn't want to do this earlier is because uh, there's going to be a green pad we need to jump on. There's coin number four. Now, you know what? I'm just going to kill these guys before I get killed myself. Gosh dang it! I bounced right into him. Please drop some health. No health? Gosh dang it. Now, right here is going to be a green slime guy, but our jump attack can actually kill that. If I can hit him with it. Gosh dang it! Come on. Hit him! Hit him! There we go. We actually got him. And health? I can't quite get to that, but let's just jump up and we'll get the Jinjo number four right here. Now we can leave. Let's get back out of here. And now let's go to the bottom right. This is where the boss fight's actually going to be. So let's kill this guy off. Hopefully he'll drop some health for me because I'm not doing so well. Nope. No health. We'll just jump up here. Ah, crud. Jump up here. Jump up there. And now we need to switch to our ice eggs. So we'll do that. Shoot it once and that'll activate the boss. Now this boss... Not exactly difficult, but it is kind of tricky, and it might take me a while. You'll see why. Kazooie seems a little bitter. She should have should be my heavy hitter. Since she stayed by Banjo's arm, I'm going to have to do her harm. Basically, all these different red spots on Gruntilda here, we have to hit those with our eggs. The problem is she moves a lot, and also her ice shots that she throws out, those can actually block our shots, so we have to... Watch out for those and still hit her. It's pretty annoying. And also eventually we'll run out of ammo. That could be annoying as well. And one more thing that's also annoying is once we get her down to only three hits left, she'll start flying around and be even more difficult to hit. Because now she'll not only go left and right, she'll also go up and down. So let's just go ahead and spam the crud out of this. Okay, we got most of it down. Just one more spot to get. Gotta hit it two more times, I think. Oh, crud, because I'm so low on HP. I might actually die here. Don't die. Come on, come on. Yes! Good. Okay, now that the boss is over, I don't care so much if I die. At this point, we'll just get our Jiggy and actually a Mumbo token as well. We'll grab that crud. And if I die, not a big deal because I'll just go back to full health. You know what? I'm just going to die on purpose. I know I said I wouldn't abuse that too much, but I guess I'm, I guess I'm just a big, big fat liar, man. Okay, so now that we've got that Mumbo token, let's go back to... Uh, Mumbo Jumbo and check out our new transformation. In we go. What could we become this time? Okay, so our new transformation is going to be... Let's see if he'll tell us about it. Well, it's this one right here. Let's go ahead and choose that crud. The blue crud right there. Oh, man. Get that disco party going. And we turn into a little octopus guy. Ah yeah. Mumbo call this octopus. Use octopus swimming strength to go in the water that harm Banjo. Use A to jump and shoot water jet with B. So, yeah, basically we have our own little gun right here. And also, we can go inside the green water without taking any damage, which is awesome. Now, these guys, you still just gotta kill by shaking them off. But, there's other enemies that we can kill pretty, really easily with this stuff. So, if we go inside this pipe here, it'll actually put us back by Mr. Drippy's van. I don't exactly want to do that, so we're gonna skip that one. But we will get the final silver token right here. And that'll make this guy kind of let us know, Hey, you should come over here and give me that money! We can go ahead and kill that guy pretty easily. Making sure I didn't miss anything down there. Uh, okay, we're good to go. So now this guy right here, we could have done this sooner, but basically this guy, we have to give him that ice cream cone we got for helping out the uh, ice cream guy. So yeah, that's what the, the ice cream cone's been for this whole time. Just give it to this guy, he'll go back to his mom in the other area, then we can go over and get our reward. There's only two poop babies that we had to save, and this is the second one, so once he gets his little ice cream cone here, he'll go back, we can go get that jiggy. Um, that's kind of why I waited to do it until now, because now that we've got all the silver coins, we have to go back to that area to play the minigame anyways, so kind of makes sense to wait. Also, now that we've got all five Jinjos, we'll have to go back to that area to get the Jinjo, or to get the Jiggy from the Jinjo statue as well, so lots of stuff to do once we go back there. But for now, we're gonna stay as our transformation and try to get some notes that are just kind of scattered along here. Also, this might look like it's really high up, but we can actually just jump right up to it, so there you go. There's also some notes here, and I believe there's one note inside the wall here. There sure is, we'll grab that. And now, I want to go inside this pipe here. If we go inside, we've actually got the Mucky Passage. So we can kill these enemies. We just kind of have to go along this uh, sewer path, I guess. Now, these guys will do two points of damage if you actually get hit by them. So, you want to try your best to kill them. There we go. Also, sometimes they'll be, like, swimming on top of notes. Which makes it really hard to see uh, if you're going to miss any notes. So, it's a good idea to kill them just in case so they don't block anything. Let's go grab that. Oh, there's a lot of them right here. Just going to kill all of them off if I can. Go just for my own safety, we'll we'll kill those guys. There we go. Looking pretty good on notes. Already up to 82. Let's make sure that guy's not blocking anything. Good. And see, like right there, he swam right over that note, so I could have missed that. 
but we got it. No problem. Yep. We're almost at the end of this place. Almost there. This is note number 85. And a couple more up here alongside a Jiggy. So that is pretty much all there is to do with the octopus transformation here. We could technically do a little bit more with him, but I'm just gonna do it as regular Banjo. So let's go back to regular Banjo here. Cool, so now that we're back to regular Banjo, I'm gonna go back to Spillerston because we can go get the Jiggy from the Jinjo statue. We can go to play the mini game and we can also talk to the Poop Mom. It's so weird, man, the Poop Mom. Now we're gonna go back to the Poop Mom and get our reward from that as well. Again, I should be talent trotting, man. We got that speed. We gotta use it. So first, I'm gonna go right up to the mom. She's right over here. We'll go talk to her. So now that we've saved the two babbies, we can get that crud. But we don't know where that Jiggy's been. It's probably been in a pile of poop. There we go. So that's gonna be Jiggy number seven. Good, good. So we're on track here. It's right over here. Crud will be Jiggy number eight. We'll grab that one. And now we'll go get Jiggy number nine from the uh, mini game up here. So the guy with the uh, the silver coins. To play his mini game, we just jump right up here, and there he is. Let's go talk to him. Five lovely coins. I guess you can go on the slide. I'm the fastest on this water slide. In fact, I'm so fast that I bet you can't race me to the bottom. Okay, so basically we have another one of those slide games, but this time instead of collecting stuff, we kind of have a bit of a race. So it's very bad to hit the stuff that slows us down, because if we hit that crud, then he'll get ahead of us. What if we hit, hit the booster pads, we'll actually get ahead of him. So our goal is to hit as many booster pads as possible, while also dodging as much of the tar as possible. So, let's just see how we do right here. It's not a super long race, and you can once again look at the bottom left to kind of see what's going to be coming up pretty soon. I usually just look at the top right and just uh, try to react to what's coming down. Right there, I kind of goofed and hit that a little bit. Whew, okay. Not too bad so far. Not too bad. Let's go ahead and hit this. Good. Oh gosh, always watching out for these slimes. Especially like when you grab the booster pad, it gives you such a speed boost that it makes it even harder to dodge what you're about to go into. Oh geez. Thankfully, I've got a pretty good lead on him right now. You can see our positions on the right. I'm pretty far above him, so we're, we're doing all right here. There we go. Oh boy, get that triple boost. Dodge all these cruds. And I think we're doing good. We got it first try. Nice. Actually, we, we got it by a long shot right there. And the reason I wanted to do that, uh, this area last over here is because, well, after doing that slide, it kind of spits you out over here. So the last thing we can do here in Bilge Haven is first, I guess we can kill this guy off. But there is a couple more notes down here I want to get. Oh, gosh dang it. So you can come get this note as the octopus. I'm just going to risk it. There we go. It's kind of hard to land on that precisely. Gosh dang it. But, well, I got it. So that's done. But now I have to do another jiggy here. So if we jump up this way, we have one of these green pads. We go ahead and hit that guy. And that will activate this pad. Now, thankfully, this one is not on a timer. But all of the other ones are going to be. So we'll go ahead and jump over here. Oop. Let's see if we can actually get around that mountain. There we go. Now, from here on, all of these are going to be on timers. We have to go as quickly as possible. But I also want to grab these notes, so it makes it a little bit tricky to do everything at once. Oh, gosh dang it. Well, actually, once we use this pad, the timer doesn't matter. So there's no rush once we're up here. Grab these notes. Now we just hit this one. There's only one note left, and it will be right down here. So we just have to get down there, use that pad, and we'll grab that note and hit that last switch as well. And see how we do... Let's just go down, try not to get hit by enemies. There we go, we'll bounce up like that. And there we go, all 100 notes are ours. And thankfully, this stage will not be like the last stage. We actually can get everything here. We don't have to worry about coming back later. So let's go ahead and hit this switch right there. And that'll give us access to that pad, which leads to the final Jiggy. Let's go back into Talon Trot really quick. We need to jump along all the way over here. Use this pad, jump up this way. We have to get around this section. And there we go, take this final pad, and that will be Jiggy number 10. If we go look at our totals, you can see we actually did get every single thing there is to collect here. And guys, that is gonna wrap things up for Spiller's Harbor, and that'll wrap things up here for today. So we'll come back next time. Looks like it's finally time to go back to the temple. We only needed 39 Jiggies to unlock our next stage. We've got 45, so that'll be no problem. So I'll see you guys next time. Take care.